Well, the numbers are in and Americans are starting to spend more cash and they're spending more on credit as well as the economy worsens and everyday costs like food and gas continue to rise. Spending on credit cards rose $351 billion in the third quarter. So how can you save some more money? That's getting much harder. We talked to an expert tonight in an all new Money Talks. Ignorance will keep you broke. You've got to know how much you are truly earning and how much you are honestly spending. Financial advisor Rolandis Johnson reminds us to mind your budget. And so my first deal is find what's best for you, what's, what fits for you. Um, but secondly, stay disciplined with that thing. Um, I know the one thing I, I harp on is, is constantly review your budget every single year. Look at it. Make sure you know exactly what's coming in, what's going out. Remember, once your bills are paid, you need to have a plan for your discretionary cash. That includes long and short term goals. Pretty consistent with that and pretty disciplined. You'll find yourself saving for the smallest of things, whether it's a trip six months down the road where we're going to move money to the savings account. But then we'll take a little bit from that and put it in our trip account. Um, multiple accounts aren't necessarily a bad thing because then you can save for the little things that you want. But um, no, we have a Christmas fund every year. We get to a certain level and then it's okay. That's how the money we want to spend on Christmas. Have you ever heard of the envelope method? It's grabbing your cash and then organizing it. I'll let Rojo explain. Uh, but there are so many different techniques and strategies. Um, the envelope method, my wife was telling me about that. I'm like, babe, we already kind of saved pretty well, but... Um, you know, explore some of those apps, the automatic drafts. Uh, if you're not a big banking person, the envelope is a great method. Write the name on the envelope and you know, how much you want to save and constantly put money in. And just a friendly reminder about swiping the plastic. Studies show that when you pay for everything in cash, you actually spend 18% less. It's more of a, a psychological thing to where you're handing somebody $100. It stings a little bit more because you're actually seeing it go away versus swiping the credit card or the debit card, and it's just zeros and ones transmitting in the background. And so I know me, I don't carry a lot of cash on me, and so um, if I did, I probably wouldn't spend a dime. So that's, 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 just, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, you ever start to hand over that money and then think twice about it, try to pull it back? As of October of this year, roughly 4 in 10 Americans say none of their purchases in a typical week are paid for using any cash. That's up from 29% in 2018 and 24% in 2015. So we're using the green stuff less and less. Well, up 